Good morning. Let's kick this off. It's needed to be kicked off for a while now. The time for sitting around in front of each other and in front of our computer screens has definitely ended. We now realize what it is that we need to do if we are to be proud human beings doing something worthy with our lives. I don't know about you, the viewer, whether you watch because you like to be titillated by the awfulness of our situation as we face genocide on this planet, the genocide to end all genocides, Yes, I mean the extermination of 90% of the world's population as the New World Order brings about their technologically advanced slave society whilst they lord it above you in the New Age. What this talk is not designed to do is to present you with evidence or direct you to more websites to look at how terrible the coming Holocaust is going to be. I know I shall be accused of creating a self-fulfilling prophecy here, but we must prepare and by preparation I do not mean sitting emailing one another with yet more evidence of the coming horrors. These horrors are coming, and you will either die on your knees, or you will fight as the warrior stirs within you and faces your enemy with snarling teeth. Not being a religious man, I shiver as I tell you that God is indeed on our side, the side of sentient, loving, fighting man. My dear brothers and sisters, I ask you to join me in the final fight against the suicidal nihilists the mega-rich billionaires and private bankers who have taken it upon themselves to terraform this planet, to lower the world's population, and to create a brave new world where they shall rule for eternity. I know you're scared, but this is not the time for fear. Release your mind from the chains that bind your honor and let your savage man out, for it is needed now more than ever in the history of humanity. We have seen slaughters, we have seen millions of young uniformed men sent obediently towards their deaths in previous conflicts. We have seen men, women and little children herded into camps and gas chambers by the millions. We have seen perpetual warfare against public opinion. We have forgotten, we have forgotten we have become complacent. Worse than complacency, we think someone will come and save us. The awful truth is, and I resisted believing this, I resisted believing this, is that the final fight between good and evil is now, and it is our destiny to win it for the species, the human soul. We are not alone. God, we're not alone. We have each other by the billions, and we have a universe that is conspiring to help us and watching over us. We have a God which gives us the signs to see and the courage to rebel, the courage to fight for what is our birthright and the birthright of all sentient species in the universe. We shall fight for our freedom and we shall win. Many of us will not make it, Hell, I may not even make it, but we have to fight for the eternal glory of knowing that when our time came to prove ourselves, we stood up and fought with everything we had for what is real, for what is worthy, for truth, freedom, and above all, love. Any revolutionary is driven by the most powerful emotion in the universe, unconditional love. It's universal across the totality. All sentient species feel it. But with great power comes the opportunity for great corruption, and the Illuminati, with their incredible desire for world domination, have sold their souls to the dark side in order to further rule and imbibe the physical world glory which they seek in a deluded manner, forgetting in the fog of their corrupted hearts and in the suicidal nihilism that they shall answer for their actions in this realm before not only themselves, but before the Absolute Consciousness himself. Life has just arrived. We are indeed the subjective imagination of ourselves. Which is precisely why I ask you not to be scared, but to join me in the good fight for all, for which you will proudly rise each day and show each other what it means to be human, and to care for your fellow man in the face of this nightmare. Stand up for yourselves, stand up for your children, stand up for truth, and know deep in your hearts that victory is easy if you believe in it, and I believe in it with my entire being. Each and every generation has had their fight for freedom against tyranny, and this is ours. This is the reality of the physical world. This is the answer you have been looking for. The emptiness you have felt ends now as you wake up to the final truth that you must fight for everything that is sacred. This is God's test, and this is the test you set out for yourself before you were born, before you chose to live at the moment, at the most glorious time of the biggest test of all. Do not waver. Do not run in fear. Stand firm and we shall stand next to you. Together we are many. The machine men cannot throw an infinite number of slaves to fight you. The slaves are waking up and will join us against the dark side parasites which taint our collective souls with their hate and inhumanity. The machine men will fail. They will fall. This is the test. This is the fight. This is your destiny. Do you believe your life would be worth living if God had made this a perfect reality of happiness and love and sunshine? 
That comes after this life. In this one, we must prove ourselves through our choice and free will to show that we have souls worthy and capable of love in the face of violent adversity. This is the test that we have chosen for ourselves. The armed resistance must begin in the United States of America. The people there have not been disarmed like we have in the United Kingdom and in most of Western Europe. The people in the USA have to show total resistance and lead the world by example. We are standing by you. They need to organize and begin a concerted effort to destroy the FEMA concentration camps and to dismantle the surveillance state. You need to connect with the humanity in the police force and in the armed forces to make these uniformed and indoctrinated souls realize that they are slaves being sent to slaughter other slaves by a dark force which cares not about them or their family. The armed forces and the police force right now are like the collaborating Jews in World War II herding their fellow men, women and children onto the trains towards Auschwitz in the false belief that perhaps they will be spared the same fate. But they are never spared the same fate. We are not dealing with souls when we deal with our enemy. We are dealing with a few men with machine hearts who have long ago sold their souls to the dark side. Alas, they provide us with the most glorious opportunity to show the world who we are and what we stand for. We stand for total resistance in the face of genocide, of murder, of inhumanity. I stress one last time, we have God on our side. You feel it in your heart, you feel it in your soul. The infinite power of the universe beats within you and you will never be extinguished. It never has been, and trust me, look into my eyes when I tell you that we are very close to victory. Good always prevails over evil. Brothers and sisters, I implore you to understand that the time is now. The most beautiful moment of your existence as prescribed by destiny is upon you and you will succeed. Fight the good fight and win it for the human soul.